Good morning. Today is Thursday, February 15th, 2024. I'm at work picking up some paperwork, getting ready to head out. And I wanted to drop this little dime on y'all. I um, was just receiving some things right that I prayed for like 15, 20 years ago that are just coming to pass right now. Let me repeat that. I am just receiving things, blessings, desires, wants that I prayed for 20 years ago. It's just manifesting today. Or not just today, but, you know, recently. What's going on and where my life is right now. Where I am right now in my life, I prayed for 15, 20 years ago. And I had gave up on God. Because I thought he was ignoring me. I thought he, he wasn't going to, you know, they said, God, that's a prayer. I was like, he don't answer mine. Now that I look back on it, God answers all prayers. Let me repeat that. Because some of y'all are going to say, now, you non-believing in God, I ain't talking about which God, I ain't giving God no name, Buddha, Allah, none of that. Y'all can, whatever your God name is, fill in the blank. So, that ain't what this is about. I ain't trying to convert nobody to no particular belief. But to me, God is God. Creator of the universe, the master of all things. But anyway, I'm not going to go there with you. Religion and politics, I'm done. This ain't religion. So, God answers all prayers. And I repeat, to the non-believer, I'm not talking to you. Ain't nothing I can tell you to convince you other than what you believe. And I'm not trying to, but you're still welcome here on this channel. I appreciate you and love you too. I'm not a Bible thumper. I'm not a pastor, preacher, nor do I play one on TV. I'm not collecting tithes or offerings. But if you want to send me something, dollar sign Big Ward 251. I ain't going to turn you down. Just cash out. But anyway, some of y'all might say, well, Big Ward, I done prayed for a lot of stuff I ain't get, man. He ain't answered this prayer. He ain't answered that prayer. And I believe in God. There ain't no atheist. I believe in God, but he ain't answered this prayer. I prayed for such and such. I'm going to pray for this, that. Blah, blah, blah. He ain't answered that prayer. Yes, he did. Sometimes the answer is no. Or not right now. Yes ain't the only answer to a question. Yes is not the only answer to a request. Sometimes the answer is no. Sometimes the answer is not right now. But you were answered. If you prayed for something, it didn't come to pass. It could be not right now. Or just flat out no. And what we want, if the answer is no, why, God? Why'd you tell me no? Or why not right now? I want it right now. I'm the type of person, I'm speaking for myself. I want what I want. I want what I want, and I want it right now. I ain't got time to wait for tomorrow. I don't even want to wait three, four hours from now. I'm the type of person, you tell me you got something for me, I want it now. I have learned over the years patience because patience gives me peace. Rushing causes anxiety, stress. So I had to learn to be patient or lose my mind. 
So, God does answer all prayer. Every prayer you ever prayed got answered. It may not have been the answer you wanted. Spelling me with no. I know it wasn't the answer you wanted. Even not right now ain't the answer you wanted. Sometimes God telling you, not right now. Where my life is right now, if God would have gave it to me when I asked for it, I would have blew it. I'm in, I'm in a position now mentally and, and uh, maturity-wise to realize that. That if I was where I am now, back then when I was asking God for if he gave it to me then, oh, you talking about some cars and women and clothes and jewelry. Blowed it. All you were heard, boy, big boy said it out there at night. Boy, you, you should have came to the silver spoon. Boy, big wall and that bitch turn it up. He was burning fifties. Setting them on fire. Just making it rain. That's what it would have been if he would have gave me what I got now back then. God knew, but I didn't. That's where trust God comes in. Trust God comes in. You may not know or understand because ain't no way for a man to know or understand the ways of God. Any man trying to teach you and tell you the ways of God, don't listen to him. I'm not trying to teach you the ways of God. I don't know the ways of God. What I do know is, from my own personal experience, God answers all prayers. Now, if you don't believe in God, then hey, pray to yourself. See how that works out. It might work for you. I don't know. But I'm not talking to you as I said earlier. Sometimes the answer is no. That don't mean, and, and a lot of times, because he loves you, the answer is no. I remember a time I was eating some fish, right? And my son, probably about two, three years old, I would eat bone fish. You know what they call, you know, fish with bones in it. And y'all know how, how the bones get caught in your throat. A lot of times you try to get the bones out, you might not get all of them. You got to know how to eat the fish and how to swallow without swallowing the bone. My son don't know how to do that. I don't trust that I'm going to get all the bones out. So I just won't give him bone fish, period. Oh, but he wanted some bone fish. He wanted the fish I would eat. Got him tilapia or whatever. He didn't want to, he won't cause what he wanna be like his dad. He wanna eat what I'm eating. He knew the fish was different. He pissed and fit. Like, you know, and, and you would think he thinking I don't love him. But in reality, he don't understand what dad is doing. Dad is protecting you from yourself. Because you know not what's best for you, like I do. Even though you think you do. You just see what you want. But you don't know what you want will kill you. But your dad does. That's where I come in at. I'm responsible for you. My love for you tells you no. Now, as you get older, I used to have a bonefish. So I wasn't just telling him no. I was telling him not right now. As a teenager or whatever, when I feel like you're capable of taking the bones out where you won't choke yourself and kill yourself, now you can eat the same fish daddy eat. But before then, no. You can think I don't love you because I said no because it ain't a good feeling when you don't get what you want. I understand that. It don't feel good. But a lot of time what's good for you don't feel good to you. A lot of times what's good for you don't feel good to you. Your answer may be not right now. Or uh, could be flat out no. Cause what you want might not be what you need. But big boy, I just want you know, a lot of money. I want to be blah blah. What's wrong with having a lot of money? For some people, a lot wrong with it. 
Some people should not have a lot of money. And a lot of times, I'm going to say God, life, whatever, will allow some people to get a lot of money and destroy themselves to show the majority of people that money ain't for everybody. That this might not be what you want. Some people have to be examples to others. I know that's like, well, big boy, that, that's low down on God. Let some folks be an example. He ain't letting them be examples. He just going on allow them to have what they ask for so that his other kid can see experience is the best teacher. You see somebody else crash and burn that got the money before they're supposed to have it. I shouldn't have had it at all. Some people are meant to just be working on a job. They're not meant to be the owner of the company. Y'all get what I'm saying? But the person that's working on the job still might ask to be the owner one day, but you ain't built like that. It bees that way sometimes. So for those of you like me that's out there wondering, God, I've been praying for this for years, and God still ain't answered my prayer. Yes, he did. You got three answers. Two of them you don't like. Not right now. And no. The only answer we like is yes. Boy, when we get that gift, oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. God is good all the time. When there's no, where you at, Lord? Lord, where you at? I've been praying for 20 years. You ain't showing up yet. Where you at? I told you no 20 years ago. That's where I'm at. Now, whether you accept that no, that's your problem. But the answer was no. Get it? Got it? He's always good. Bye.